we are live okay so a very very good afternoon students this is tari chaudhary reporting live from the ishm or career studio today so today i have with me a very special person chef avijit ghosh who is one of india's most promising and extremely well known pakistani chefs around so chef avijit is also the face the brand ambassador of calipot chocolate in india a very very big welcome to you chef i am extremely honored and happy to have you here thank you so much anjari it's lovely to have you here chef and chef as we discuss Today, all our new final year students, Fire Chef Pan India, is waiting to hear from you about their journey and definitely you know, to take a word. They basically over to you, Chef. Looking forward to hear from you. Thank you, Sanchari. Thank you, IHM, and uh, very good afternoon to all the students of uh, IHM, and uh, especially the third years. I'm sure you all must be in a verge of stepping into a career, uh, which all of you must be looking forward. Yes. Uh, to start with, uh, I would like to uh, talk to you about my my little journey what I had in the hotel industry is almost thirty years now. It's uh, I've started my uh, journey by doing hotel management from Bhubaneswar Catering College. It was three years hotel management. Uh, post for the Kuppuram School of Management where I was uh, in Delhi for two years. and uh, my first posting was oberoi grand calcutta and uh, taking that forward uh, i worked for oberoi hotels for almost uh, 18 years and from oberoi grand calcutta i moved to uh, bangalore had some stint for two and a half years and uh, finally i was at the oberoi delhi uh, as an executive pastry chef and then i i, I moved on to leela hotels after that 2009 and uh, and at the leela hotels i joined them as a corporate pastry chef uh, taking care of all the leela hotels and based out of bangalore and uh, during this process like you know it's almost been uh, uh, 10 years now with the leela hotels which i am uh, moving on that and uh, it's been a great journey and uh, obviously this 30 years of uh, as a pastry chef it's been a great career for me and uh, it's, it's it's lovely uh, uh, where i'm concerned that you know i'm i've done something very good for the industry as well as the pastry sections of of india chef we lost you the last 10 seconds if you can actually turn again chef last 10 seconds we have not will to hear you yeah so uh, what i was i was at, at the leela i can you hear me now can you hear me now but students all of you yeah so the, the last stage of my uh, i mean uh, the past uh, 10 years i was with the leela hotels and taking care of all the leela hotels based around bangalore so my main journey was to take care of all the pastry sections which concerned the all the pastry chefs the ingredient the equipments all the planning and institutions of the training took place and i was totally involved in that so that was my career with with the hotel industry as for in the short short time wow yes chef yeah going forward uh, with the uh, students i would uh, like to talk to you regarding you know uh, the career span i had a uh, lot of uh, yeah a lot of uh, ups and downs were there in my career and to begin with i will uh, while while i was at school uh, that was the very beginning of my career which uh, had a great learning for me because so one thing which is important with the hotels like now you can't take things for granted and uh, that started in my career when i was doing my training and uh, and one of the days i punked uh, one of my training uh, uh, sessions where i was called and i was told very clearly on my face this was uh, way back in 1990 uh, that uh, chef uh, the, the, the faculty of the obra school called me and told me the chef i think we have a wrong decision we made and uh, this is a uh, uh, very very sad that we have we have, we have, we have people who have joined as as uh, you know don't have any responsibility and have taken a day off without informing us so and uh, as a punishment i was posted uh, at oberoi maidens and i was given a shift which was 5 o'clock in the morning from morning till uh, late evening i mean i had i had to start at 5 i didn't know when to stop but you know one thing that that came to my mind during this stage that whatever you do you have to show yourself right and it it, it hurt me very badly because yes i did my best to get to obra school it was not easy like you know getting to obra school you have to go through a lot of process and you have to go through a lot of uh, training a lot of you know you have to study a lot and uh, you have to gain a lot of knowledge which i did and and, uh, and that uh, that it 
came to my face that saying they said that okay uh, you are not uh, capable or you're not uh, suitable for the program so that hit me very badly and uh, students at this stage i would like to tell you that this is one point when you have to think that okay you you have done something and you have you can do it so this two months of my uh, my uh, uh, training uh, at, at the opera maidens i did it very seriously and it was tough for me getting up early morning at the, in the winters of delhi going to the school and working the whole day and coming back but one thing was in my mind which was there that i should perform it, i did i give my best so so this is the place and 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 two months later uh, to the faculty and I was told that abhijit it was uh, good uh, that you worked very well very hard we got excellent feedback from the chef and the manager which really made me happy and uh, it's a big learning for me at this initial stage of at uh, 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 nervous at the beginning and they said and and that two months of work, hard work made me very strong and i came out of it and that gave me good space in the in the hotel and and working forward i was again uh, very strong with my work focused that what made me what i am today to to take it further down uh, i mean i would advise uh, the students like you know uh, uh, in hotels is something which is like uh, a, a place where it's very very a hard pressed uh, uh, situation where you have to work hard never think take things for granted you have to give your best right and uh, work hard and miss things that you have to be very sincere at your work and uh, at the end of the day uh, you should do nothing wrong which leads to to trouble which leads to trouble for your family for yourself which and uh, what what i have learned over the years that you no know, you have to uh, do the things the right way and uh, rest everything will follow whether whether about your work about your promotions about your you know, going to the next level so you have to do the work properly what whatever the work has been assigned to you you do it well so that is what is very important for all of you that now that you'll be stepping into the uh, world of uh, hospitality industry where you will come across a lot of things a lot of learning will be there but yes i i always say that do do the right thing the right time and the rest will follow that's amazing chef we would also in fact you know in your entire journey that you were talking about uh, the most fascinating thing happens to be your love affair with chocolate so we definitely would like to know about how it all started you know, when you were basically working and how does one basically get into that kind of a field see uh, uh at uh, i'll go back to my uh, uh, career at obrey school where uh, we we are we are taught everything to become a, 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 a exhibit chef right so the, the we have to go through all the areas so for me uh, getting into pastry was a little, little bit of story for me i was very keen on western food i used to like cooking western food and i was uh, posted in one of the western uh, kitchen at obrey grand calcutta but i don't know i had some little skill in my hand you know uh, which i sometimes used to go to the pastry kitchen and try out some piping and some 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 desserts with the pastry chefs i was and i, I liked working there a little bit but uh, yeah i but my 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 main uh, uh, focus was uh, western kitchen i used to love western food although i didn't like indian much because of the heat and the tandoor so i i stayed away from there so during that when i was working the two of the chef who was the pastry they 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 left the hotel and joined the uh, uh, ships for to, uh, to enhance their career so there's a time when exec chef uh, told me that uh, uh, chef abhijit i've seen you working in the kitchen uh, pastry kitchen once in a while and you have a good hand why don't you just hold the place till i get somebody for you uh, uh, get another pastry chef i said fine i mean uh, i moved into the kitchen and i i the positive thing was i it was uh, straight shifts uh, no no break shifts uh, which was very 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 nice for me at that young age to so have the evenings at, uh, at my 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 time and i, I really enjoyed that part and uh, and it was a place where uh, i think uh, my creativity i was a small time artist when i was a child i used to do a lot of painting and uh, artwork so while at the pastry kitchen it helped me to develop my skill and i thought this is the place where i it's very creative first of all it's something which uh, uh, everybody uh, doesn't have the skill but you have a little skill as an artist and you can develop it there and uh, obviously pastry uh, area is absolutely area which needs skills which can be improved by day by day it's not that overnight you develop a skill 
So I started my journey to Burger and Calcutta as a pastry chef there, moved on to Delhi, and then, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, as a corporate pastry chef, which I've been still uh, attached to the, to the whole uh, domain of pastry. And uh, to tell you frankly, this, this is the area where it's like you have to be focused and you have to have a lot of patience to become a pastry chef. And unlike other other chefs, like where you no, know, the recipes are very straightforward. You 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 can cut, chop, cook, and present it. But here, the everything has a technical uh, background. Everything has a chemical reaction. Whether you're making bread, whether you're playing with chocolate, and chocolate is one subject which is very close to my heart because it's a it's a thing which 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 is which is has so much of chemical bonding into it, and you just cannot. Uh, just melt chocolate and start working on it. When you see a chocolate, you, it's a nice uh, hard bark, a shiny bark, and then you, you break it, it snaps. But you know, when you have to work with chocolate, it, you have to know chocolate, uh, the nerve of the chocolate where you have to melt chocolate. So when you melt chocolate, it, 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 it melts, right? But you want to reset the chocolate, it will not reset the same way it was melted. The, the, the composition changes. The whole crystals of chocolate changes. So now, what comes in between, it's something called tempering. I'm sure you must have heard about tempering Well, your, your yes. uh, PhD classes. It's something mm -hmm. where you bring the crystals together. Every component of, of chocolate, like dark, white, and milk, all have a different component while tempering chocolate. So that is the thing, which is a lot of technicality is there. And, and you have to do it properly. It cannot come the first time. You have to keep practicing on it. And then comes uh, your deserts, pastry, bakery, chocolates, everything what is involved in this section, it really excites me because every time I do, everything comes out to be new. So here uh, you go to bed in the night and you think what, what, what showpiece you're gonna to make tomorrow, what artwork you want to do with a plate, what, what, what presentation you're going to make. Everything is a planning here. It's not that you go to the kitchen, you chop something and put it on the fire and cook and give it. Here, the planning is very important and then the execution. So that is, that is something which I, I will, uh, uh, I want to more, I mean, I don't know how many, how many of your students are interested to take into pastry, but this is one area which is very skilled, but you have to have a lot of patience and uh, you know, focus where you want to uh, do the things properly. It cannot come overnight and you have to have patience to stay in a hotel, stay in a section where you can learn a lot. Because again, in a pastry section, it's not about only pastry cakes. It's, it's the sections are like quite wide. Like it starts with the bakery. You have a section which has, uh, you do desserts. You have a section which you do pastry. There's a section when you do a lot of uh, uh, cakes and there's a chocolate room, ice cream room. So it's a lot of components are there to, to get into pastry. And that is one thing I really enjoyed working there and in a cool atmosphere. And it's tucked away in, in part of the kitchen where nobody disturbs you. And uh, at, it's like creative mind and it flows every day, every, every chocolate and other ingredients, which I love doing it. Chef, what are the challenges that one can basically, you know, uh, particularly have, like uh, in your career journey as well, you know, there has been a lot of challenges you must have, you know, in fact found and how have you been able to overcome the challenges in the hotel industry is that, like, you know, first of all, uh, so uh, the, uh, the, uh, I mean, the stage which you're joining the hotel, uh, it's, it's a very early age of your career, right? You, you must be 20, 22, I mean, 22 or plus, right? So this is a very young age where your just transition takes place when you, from a college student, you're getting into a job where are you taking up a career where you have to work where you, this is the time to go into the hotel, but you don't have a time to come out. But that's a very interesting part because in a hotel is it's like working as a team, you know, you know, you, whatever you do, the first the moment you swipe in uh, into a hotel and checks in and you wear a uniform, whole attitude changes, right? Your whole attitude towards uh, the whole, whole uh, everybody, like, you know, and, that's, and, and to tell you frankly that in a hotel, right, you know, it's like the two things you're dealing very strongly with. One is the customers, the, your guests, which we call it external customers, and their internal customers also. So there are a lot of challenges where you see a, from the guest who checks in, to checks out, you have to be on toes to make the guest happy every moment. From check-in to the room service you give, it, give to the customer, to the restaurant uh, services you give, to any all other, other services, whether it's a business center, whether it's a coffee shop, whether it's a dining, whether the guest want to uh, step out of the hotel and go, every moment you have to follow the guest and make sure everything's perfect. So, and, and also the, the challenges is that, that doing all this, you can't do it alone, right? And you have to be a very good team player to do all this. 
you have to have a good team because your your internal customer has to pitch in to do anything. So for example, you as a chef, for example, I'll just give you a small example. A guest orders for a cake, right? And I'm a pastry chef. That's why the reason I'm giving an example like this. Yeah, you, you guest orders a cake. And for a chef, the, just making the cake is not the end of his job. For a chef, to you take the order, you take the right order, all the instructions to be put properly, whether the message, the time of pickup, the date of pickup, everything has to be clear. And today's world, everything is, you have to be like, you know, uh, earlier everything we used to note down, right? Now everything is on WhatsApp. And so the, you are you are absolutely one in touch with the guest, which uh, is, gives a clarity that what she wants with the picture, everything you clear it up. So once you make the cake, right? So there is a service team who, who delivers the cake to the guest. So now as a chef, I'm, I've always been like that. I'm very successful in doing that. And I, I feel proud that I did that and I made the guests happy because every time you do a cake, you make the cake, make sure you pack it well, because what you make, if you're not packed and you leave, you leave the cake to the service people, right? And they will pack it their own way. They will not know the work, what intricacy has been put into the cake and what deli how delicate the cake is. So they'll pack in the own way and give it to the guest. Guest will take the cake. If the cake doesn't reach the guest in the right structure, the, what you've made, and that's a failure. That's a failure from the end of as a chef because at the at that time the guest will complain about the chef who made the cake, not who delivered, how was delivered. So for me, my work starts with the order. My work starts up by making the cake. I pack the cake myself. I'll make sure I deliver it to the guest to the car where I put it properly. There are times when the driver comes to pick up. So that is the time you see how much of time and energy you have to put it in one cake where you go to the car, you give it to the driver, make sure you put it properly. And then that's that the let the driver go, but that your job doesn't end there. So once it reaches the guest and that's how you just give a courtesy call at some time, some point of time to have um, just to check with how the cake was. So that is how you're closing the loop. It's not, it's, it's, it's a big loop, right? So that is one part of journey in, in the hotel. There's, 10 million of job like that at position in the hotel where everybody does. So I personally feel that it's, it's, a, it's a teamwork we have to, uh, have to have with your internal customer as well as external customers. Then the most important thing is your attitude. You know, in hotels, like your attitude has to be very positive all the time because you know, a lot of things, uh, we go to a lot of under pressure outside the hotel. But moments you come to the hotel, you wear a uniform and you have to leave everything aside, your ego, everything outside the hotel. And then you start, working as a hotelier. So you're not alone because in a hotel, there's so many departments, so many people, everybody's on the same boat and everybody's working hard towards the guests. So that focus has to be on, that that uh, that focus and that uh, attitude, positive attitude, ready to do things, that is very important while, while you're working in a hotel. Right. Chef, uh, what more, like in a sense, a student basically gets today into hospitality management. The first thing that he or she wants to be is to be basically a chef. Now, when does, uh, you know, somebody identify themselves that, you know, they can in fact go ahead and just like you said, you know, you loved uh, being an artist. You basically had your own sketchbook and there are so many things that you in fact yeah. did. So what are the things today that, you know, students need to basically, you know, have in themselves special attributes other than the regular ones to become maybe a very successful pastry chef or maybe a chef? See, yeah, see uh, uh, a chef at uh... Okay, the I mean uh, you can't just define a pastry chef as an artist. Every yes. chef is an artist, right? Every everything right. we put to today in world, this is not that you no. Know, you just make something, make a samosa and put it on a plate. So today, right. if you put samosa, also I am taking a simple example because even they put something which is presentable, right? And today they are doing so many things with samosa. There you can play with the filling, you play with the outer structure, you can play with plating. What sauce can go with it? What salad can go with a little drizzle here or there? So that is what it's all about. To become a good chef, you have to have good knowledge, you know. I mean, I understand you guys, all the students are in the third year now, and, uh, uh, and you're very lucky that you are a part of IIHM because uh, I've seen, I have interacted with this uh, this uh, hotel uh, school, which where, where the teachers, uh, the owners are so damn focused with to teach you guys, right? To give you knowledge. It's not that you come to college, you attend a class and you go home. There's so many things happening in this college, right? From bartending, from uh, tour to France and, and uh, cheese making, everything, factory visit, everything takes place there, where to give impart knowledge. So students uh, at this, I would like to 
tell you that you're very lucky to be a part of IHM and and the amount of exposure you get in IHM it's 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 amazing. Like I, I'm a student of IHM CTN, but uh, what I see today it's 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 marvelous effort by the complete team of IHM. And uh, that is the reason why they give you so much of knowledge. Have you, have you understood that? Because you see, knowledge is one thing which will make you perform in life, right? To make you grow in, in your career. If you have knowledge, you can grow faster. If you don't have knowledge, you will go slow. I'll give you a very small example right now. You, what, what is the first step you, you get to uh, see while entering a hotel industry? The first step is the interview, right? The interview conducted by the various hotels, chains, various organizations who come for the interview, uh, they call it a campus interview. I'm sure at this stage, you all students are involved in studying, preparing, and um, getting ready for the campus interview, right? That is the most important stage of your life. This three years, what you've spent, or four years uh, I mean, you've spent, you, this is the day which you have to perform. This is the stage which has been set by your teachers, by your faculty to perform. Whatever you do, whether you're going for F&B, whether you're going to take up a, a career as a chef, a housekeeping, or, or any, any, any of the sales and marketing uh, uh, area, here you have to give your best shot, right? Where you have to have knowledge. So you see the interviewers who come to check, your, check you will not tell you on the first day, okay, scoop me something and show it to me. Because it's the this is not not adjusted to to cook something right it's an interview panel it's an interview board so the only way to test you is your knowledge you have to have knowledge if you're preparing to become a chef you have to have knowledge of complete chapter one to chapter on a to z you have to have knowledge of everything that has been taught to you theoretical practical knowledge you should have then also you have trained in certain hotels right where the training, why we say the training is important because that is the place we send you to get exposure to learn the basics which you're going to face in future. Whether it's housekeeping, whether it's front office, whether it's uh, kitchen, F&B service, every area has a lot of learning. That's the time you, you, you get to see a practical of the situation, how the things work. You have studied about making a soup, a sauce, but in a kitchen, in a hotel kitchen, you see how it is done, how the ingredients are procured, how the uh, ingredients are processed, how the ingredients are put into plate. So that is very important. So for you at this stage, knowledge is very important where you study well, prepare hard for your interview. If you can answer the basic question, they, they look for basic questions. They don't uh, grill you. They, 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 they will touch you the points where you have, whatever you learned in college, what have you seen in the hotel. So be very particular, be very specific what you've seen, what you've learned in the hotel and in your college, and you have to study hard. That is the first hurdle where you have to showcase your knowledge. And that is the time if you say, sir, I'm sorry, I don't know, I'll get back to you. And that's it. Your career is not over. You have a barrier there. So people who process the campus interviews, they they are selected as a management training, okay? If you are not selected as a management training, then what is the next step? You join as a commie in the kitchen or a steward at F&B service or a, a front office assistant in the front office. So you're, you are four years behind your, uh, your colleagues who have cleared the interview. Why have they cleared the interview? Because they studied hard, they've presented themselves well, and they, they, they were serious about their career. So this is the difference what, what, what will come across to you when you sit in the... Uh, for sitting for the interview and you have to be very focused and you have to have knowledge. So that's knowledge is very important. Whatever you learn, you have to prepare, you know, if you, without preparing, you can't do anything. Even if you ask Sachin Tendulkar, he can't score centuries without practicing. He practices a lot. Where this Ronaldo, he has to practice. Messi he has to practice to score those goals. So this is the time, this is the time when you have to score goals now and hit centuries. That is what I feel. I mean, I, I, I wish you all the best for that. Right. Thank you so much, Chef. That was really inspirational. I'm certain that all our students are really, you know, enjoying this session right now, coming all the way from you. And in fact, uh, you know, there are a lot of questions which are in fact started coming in, Chef. And I would like to in fact start with this. Uh, before that, I personally want to basically ask you about one thing, Chef. You know, by the time all our students graduate next year, so what do you basically think? You know, globally would be the different kind of career opportunities that they can foresee from now. See, there are a lot of things with uh, with these lockdowns. We have learned a lot of things, right? now, and uh, a lot of dynamics are changing all over the world. Whether it's hotels, whether it's restaurants, whether it's like shipping, airlines, everywhere the dynamics changing and it's changing for good. So this is a time you have to be very positive and uh, be very open, right? It is 
you 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 can uh, think of something and if it doesn't happen you feel sad and uh, about it no this is a time you have to be very positive you have to be uh, you have to be focused pick up thing which is comes up something new right okay hotels is one area where you know the, we have been trained to join hotels but there are things like you know so many things of coming up like you know retail is there retail comes in a big way okay there are chefs uh, who are at the end of third year or starts becoming entrepreneur straight away and that's the way to be so i mean i don't think so there is anything any challenges which will going to we going to face with this lockdown and things things around there are a lot of new things will come up and i'm sure uh, these are color only thing that you have to tap it in the right moment at the right place whatever you do i mean whatever you do my advice to you whether you join as a steward whether you join as a manager whether you join as a commie it's you have to be hard working you have to be sincere and you have to be humble and every step what you do if you do it properly you do it sincerely and i'm sure you're going to rise up in life and the career moves on for everybody there is something waiting for you you just have to grab and go that is what i i uh, i i feel and i'm very positive about all of you getting into your career in future thank you so much that's really good and thank you for your answer at i'm sure that you know all of our students are really motivated because that's what they need at this present moment and especially when they are stepping into the very very important part of their three year study at iim which is their final year so uh, chef i'm going to be quickly taking all the questions i'm just going to be reading the first yeah. question of the day uh, that would be uh, how does basically somebody prepare for the ocld or any management training what are the topics they need to focus on okay uh, ocle yes i'm <laughs> quite a pro in training for the ocle yeah see ocle obra school is a is a very renowned school and they for the best you have to be the best and how you can be the best it's you like from top to bottom they check everything right uh, for interview first thing first is the knowledge you have to have a very good knowledge of everything whichever section your whichever area of the hotel you are applying for you have to have a lot of knowledge so they their their questions are very tricky and uh, and you you have to have the knowledge apart from the knowledge of the food and beverage you have to have a overall general knowledge of what's happening around the world that they check grooming is very important speech is very important all right uh, a good haircut a smart uh, dress uh, of polish shoes these are the basic things you cannot go without all these things for interview with obra hotels and they look for the person who is attitude absolutely positive and which can they always check think this person should be they always uh, recruit people to make them a manager for a chef manager because they say chef you have to be a good manager in skills other skills about being a chef will give you will develop you but the attitude of becoming a manager that's what they look for you you have to have that attitude of of of, uh, of uh, becoming a manager in future so that's what this is the basic things they look for and and students and uh, the first thing and the last thing which is there is about your knowledge which i keep repeating it because they don't go for anything no whatever question they ask you you have to have the uh you have to have an answer and you have to have the right answer you cannot beat around the bush if you don't know say you don't know but make sure that you know the answers that is very important to get into opera school right. or any other uh, interviews as such most of the hotels they they look for the person who has got knowledge and the skills comes later like you no know, for a chef training you know once you clear the first round or second round of the interview they call you for the trade test right so trade test again you have to know to cook for a chef is very important whether it's a simple uh, like preparations like simple menu but make sure the taste good presentation is good the temperature is good whether you're doing a soup for example a soup what is important uh, uh, of presenting a soup the soup has to be hot right it has to have flavor it has to have a little garnish which is which looks good and at the end it has to taste well same thing goes your main courses main courses again the same thing you have to present thing which is uh, presenting a small chicken breast or a fillet of fish it has to be cooked it has to be tasty and it has to be presented well so that is how they look into it and you have to have every knowledge why during your trade test also there are a lot of questions that comes up you know that the questions are always uh, focused to the product okay product knowledge you have to have and that's that's the key to the key to getting into our preschool 
Right. Chef, the second question would be, for a career in pastry, would you recommend to start as a management trainee or as an entry-level employee? See, uh, uh, pastry, see, uh, see, there are two phases, like I said earlier, right? Uh, one phase is that you get through campus interviews. So in a campus interviews, if, you, if, you, if you, they take you as a chef trainee, so okay, they will not give you as a pastry in the beginning because it's a very skilled area. So they, when they select you, every hotel have their, their needs, right? Suppose I, as a hotel manager, I, I select you. And as an executive chef, I will put you in the area which I need you. So initially, please be open to the areas they give you. Because, you know, that is that everything is learning, right? If you're interested in pastry, if you get a hot kitchen, please go to a hot kitchen. But I'm sure once you settle down in a year to year time, you can always approach your exec chef and tell the chef, I am very keen on pastry. Please give me a chance. So then the chef says, okay, fine. Next time I have a position in a pastry kitchen, I will put you forward. So that is one way. I have to get you some management training and it's absolutely correct, the right way. Secondly, if you don't get through campus, you're joining a hotel, that is, that's the time you can be very specific which section you want. You can join in a, directly as a pastry section and from there you grow. And joining as a pastry chef and in a, any, any of the pastry kitchen, you have to have a lot of patience and a lot of uh, patience, you know, that's one thing because you can't, today's generation, I'm not saying, uh, uh, talking about my, my generation, where we worked for so long in one section, one hotel, but this generation, what I feel that it's in a fast forward mode, slow down a bit. If you want to become a good pastry chef, you have to spend good amount of time in a pastry kitchen in each section. Okay. In each, each section, I mean, at least six months in each section. To become a good good chef, it takes three years minimum to become a good skilled pastry chef and come out as a, as 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 good as the market is available for you. Right, uh, chef. Uh, the second question also would be on the similar line, but a little different. Uh, this is uh, our student is asking: Would you recommend an aspiring pastry chef to pursue a further diploma and masters in uh, pastry after the graduation, or join the industry and get more experience? See, absolutely. Okay, you. If you have, I would, I would, uh, I would really recommend that uh, uh, with a lot of good pastry school coming up in in the city and in 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 all over India. Uh, they are very uh, good schools are there, and I will advise if you want to build a career in pastry because in the three years of hotel management, pastry is one little section which uh, they teach you, right? But if you want to get into hotels, I will advise you to. To do a six month or nine months uh, hotel uh, diploma with any of the pastry school, pastry schools, where they teach you basics very strongly, which is very important, and this will help you to get into the uh, pastry kitchen easily and also make you feel that okay, fine, I know something basic. You don't feel you don't get lost because it, it takes time. You already spent that nine months where you 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 practice a lot of basic things in in the, in the pastry school and then take it forward. Also, section there. There are also students who want to go abroad and training. No harm in getting training. So, initial training, whatever you get, you score that. Future training doesn't stop there, right? After joining hotels, also there are a lot of chefs are coming from from abroad. A lot of good chefs coming from abroad. Pastry chefs, highly skilled. They come and take a lot of classes in these pastry schools, right? Please try to attend those classes. These are short classes, three days course, right? Where they take one particular subject like entremets or they take you know uh, wedding cakes or if they take uh, bakery breakfast pastry venue sorry do these short short courses and this will like gear you up for uh, to become a good pastry chef in future and it will improvise your skills and knowledge right chef i've got a very interesting question that is what could be the short term goals one can actually look upon in order to achieve the long term goals in the bakery line See, short time goals. See, basically, you know, bakery pastry is an area where you need to work with your hand. It's it's nothing that you can direct. Okay, nothing you can direct. I mean, uh, today, if I see myself, I'm 30 years in the industry, and I have to still put my hands to make a cake. I still have to put my hand to make a chocolate. I because you know, I once you become a chef, you have to show them the right way. You have to show this is what I want, and this is the line you draw to them, and that's how the the quality comes out, right? For every chef, so that the short-term goal is that you have to put your hand and learn. So if you're putting your hand the, in the recipes, make sure you do it 10 times, 20 times, 30 times to, to make sure that you do it better every time. So that is important. You have to put your hands into it, whatever you're doing. 
industries. Right. Chef, this is about a little different again. Uh, to become a traveling chef, uh, what do we have to do? And as we know, we definitely go through the basics. Also, we have to have few years of experience and do the hard work. But what are the few other steps we could basically take up if we are wanting to be a traveling chef? So traveling chef, you mean like you uh, you keep uh, as a trainer, right? Yes, as a trainer. Definitely a lot of our chefs today has become TV chefs. They're yes, exploring yes. new countries, etc. The See, format for that chef. Right, sure, sure. See, for anything you do, whether you want to uh, become a tra traveling chef, you want to become a trainer chef, or you want to become a TV chef, for everything you have to have a knowledge, okay? And your skill has to be there, right? So uh, unless until you develop your skills, your knowledge, these things will not come. So a time when you're confident of you have a knowledge to part with, you have skills to part with, you have then you can go ahead and get into something like this. And uh, like I said, during your uh, during your during your work work time when you're working in a hotel or wherever in a restaurant, you have to spend good amount of time working on it. It's it's the first couple of years you have to put your hands, you have to dirty your hands, you have to work hard. Not that you're just going there and just you know uh, you know you're de uh, delegating. Never delegate work. It will never work out in your life. You have to learn once you do it yourself, and then it makes you stronger. It, it makes you uh, more more confident. Right. Uh, Chef, I think that is all the questions that has in fact come from our first students. Before we go off and sign off from this incredible session and a complete deluge of you know, journey that we've in fact had with you, so much of knowledge, you know, so much of knowledge and information that we've gained from you, we would basically want to also know from you your lockdown memories. What all did you basically do? See, lockdown memories are very strong for me because uh, sometimes it becomes a life-changing memory. Because this is the yes. time I felt for me, I'll tell about myself right now. And, and it's, it's a very good question. And I would love to answer this question because it's a big experience which I'm going through now. I've been in the industry for almost 30 years and I enjoyed every part of it. But of it, I'm thinking like, you know, I, this, uh, this is time has given me to think that why, what, 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 what is apart from the hotel I can do, right? So uh, yeah, yes. I've, uh, uh, I've given a big thought to myself and come to a conclusion that yes, apart from hotel, I can do something different. So obviously I'm, I'm thinking of stepping out slowly out of hotels and moving into my own shoes and uh, do something of my own. And uh, this is very interesting and it's, a, it's a really life changing for me and I'm very excited about it. Mere thinking of that, I'm, I have to do something different. So yeah, a lot of things in my mind, which I will put forward and uh, see uh, what, what I can do at the, because life is once and uh, you have to give the best. Lovely share. Yes. So true. Chef, that's absolutely incredible. We are so happy for you. And, you know, with the journey that you, in fact, potentially has opened up to cross to all our students today, I'm sure all of us have something to take away from this lovely, you know, uh, you can say session by you. So we wish you all the very best. And we are really looking forward, Chef, that, you know, you do really, really well. And definitely we would like to see the heights of it. And we'd like to be a part of it as well. So, Chef, before we leave, we would like to, of course, have a message from you to all our new students, our final year students. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, thank you so much, Sanchari, for your time and everything. And uh, I just want to wish all of you, all the students of IHM, very best of luck. Do well. Uh, do your best. Like I said, do things the right way and everything will follow you. All the best, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Chef, and you have a lovely afternoon and a great weekend ahead. And we have had an incredible time with you this afternoon. Thank, Thank you so you much. Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Chef. Stay Bye. healthy. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.